That's it, little red tractor. Let those cows know we're here. Morning, Daisy. Morning, Veronica. Here we go. Right, little red tractor. Next stop, Walter's garage for one of Nicola's sandwiches. The cows aren't the only hungry ones round here. Hi, Stan. Diesel? No, thanks, Nicola. It's me that needs filling up. Can I have one of your cheese and pickle sandwiches? Coming right up, Stan. <laughs> Sounds like Walter's fixing up his old banger again. Rotten, useless lump of... Hi, Walter. Spot of bother with the motor? Ah, oh, yeah, I stand. Yeah, uh, uh, just a bit. See, every time I start her up, there's a great big bang. I can't understand it. Here, look, watch. Funny. It's never made that noise before. I don't think it was your car, Walter. It sounded more like Big Blue. Stop! Anyone at home? God! What the dickens was that? Rotten thing? But I'll get it fixed. You see if I don't. I wish you would, Walter. But first, I've got a little job for you. Now see this dent here? Well, yeah, just, uh... Uh, what then? I'd like you to mend it for me. Soon as. Got to have Big Blue looking absolutely tickety-boo for this evening, hmm? All right, I'll ask. Why is that, Mr. Jones? Something special on? No, 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 not really. <laughs> Just some people from High Magazine coming to do a feature on me and my farm. High Magazine? That's amazing! They have all the top celebrities in it. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Only last week they ran a special feature on, but Mr Jones... Yes? That Stan sandwich. What? Uh, oh, well, I mean, I was only borrowing it. Well, it's not usually a good idea to borrow things without asking first. Uh, yes. Oh, go on. You have it. And I'll get you another one, Stan. Ah! I think I see it. Here. There. That's the last. Thanks a lot, Stan. Great help. Here we are, Stan. Nice slice of cake after all your hard work. Well, thanks, Elsie, but I don't think I could. I've just polished off a sandwich. Of course you could, Stan. Strapping fellow like you needs to keep his strength up. Well... Thanks. You hear about Mr Jones? No, what? High Magazine's doing a feature on him. <laughs> you what? That's right. They're coming to take photos of him and his farm. Since when has Mr Jones been a celebrity? Oh, it's not like the old days, you know, when celebrities were celebrities. Do you remember those great old black and white film stars, Stan? A bit before my time. I just hope Mr Jones doesn't get all big-headed, that's all. Well, thanks for the cake, Elsie. Time I was off. See you later. Bye, Stan. Well, hello, Amy. Ryan? We helped Mum bake some scones, Stan. And we've brought some for you to try. Maybe a bit later, eh? When I'm a bit hungrier. Oh. Mind you, I think I know someone who will be hungry. Do you fancy coming with me to feed the cows? Oh, yes, please, Stan. But I thought cows eat grass. So they do, Ryan. But when it gets near winter time, they need a little something extra. Jump in the trailer, I'll get the feed. You watch this. As soon as the cows hear Little Red Tractor, they'll come running for their feed. That's funny. They usually hear straight away. Steady on, Little Red Tractor. Oh, no. The gate's open. They must have escaped. Come on, Little Red Tractor. Let's find those cows. Still no 
sign of them. <laughs> Stumpy, are you all right? Oh, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm fine. Um, anyone seen my hat? Have you seen Stan's cows? Stan's cows? They've gone missing. Well, I, I'd give you a hand looking for them, Stan, but I need to find my hat first. <laughs> what? What is it? Ho, 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 you little tinkers. <laughs> right, Stan, I'll help you find those cows now. Where do you last see them? Oh, that's lovely, Mr. Jones. Give me proud. Very masterful. Oh, yes, super. <laughs> oh, and now perhaps a couple of snips of the dairy. Uh, uh, dairy? It's where we at Beach Farm make our cheese. Beachdale, we call it. It's a new venture, you know. The, the, this way. Um, uh, those, those cows. Um... Ah, yes. The Beachdale cows, they produce the milk we use for our cheese. They're not going to, you know, ch charge or anything. You know, horns and I, um... <gasps> Oh, dear, dear. Now, don't tell me you're frightened of Buttercup and Bluebell. No, 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 no. Just a bit. Nothing to worry about. No. No. Now, now, when you... When you get back to the land as I've done, you become quite at home with beasts such as these. Right, now... How do I look here? <laughs> Let's try our luck in Babblebrook. What on earth? <gasps> Look what they've done to my stuff! I'm so sorry. I, I, I can't think how it happened. Um, Skip, um, Mr. Shutter... Come back! Daisy? Veronica? What are you doing here? Um, perhaps you'd like to take some shots of the farmhouse now. No, I would not! I'm leaving, Mr. Jones, and don't for a moment imagine that your picture or that of your smelly farm and its smelly animals will ever make it to the pages of High Magazine! Not after work or... Huh? But, uh... But, Skip, I, I have... We... And I, uh... And... Oh, hello, Stan. Hello, children. Mr. Jones, what are Daisy and Veronica doing here? I, um, well, uh, that is where... Well, I borrowed them, Stan. We've been looking everywhere for them for ages. Well, I I'm sorry. I, I didn't think you'd mind, Stan. I wouldn't have, Mr. Jones, if you'd asked me. And if you had asked me, I don't think you'd have ended up in such a mess. Vanity, Stan. I, I saw the chance to be in High Magazine, and, well, I, I wanted to be a star. Well, if you ask me, being famous isn't all it's cracked up to be. There's far more to life than being a star. There is? No, no, he, he, uh, <clears throat> there is. You're, you're, you're right, of course, Stan. Um, should I um, help you get the cows back into their field? Don't worry. Now you've stopped feeding them, they'll happily follow my own little star. <laughs> This morning, little red tractor. The cows have been milked, the pigs fed. Hey, let's call into Rose Cottage and see how Amy is getting on with her garden. I can't imagine where they've all come from. But what are they? Moles, sweetheart. But moles are really cute. Why would they do this to our garden? They have to live somewhere, and I'm afraid they've chosen here. 
morning, all. Oh, Stan, look! Our garden's ruined! You have moles by the look of it. What can we do? Can we get rid of them? <gasps> you mustn't hurt them! Hmm. I'll have to give this some thought. It's been a while since we've had moles around here. Don't worry, Amy. I'm sure I can help. Leave it with me. Thanks, Thanks Stan. Stan. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Dad's forgotten a whole load of stuff again. Dad? Dad? Hello, girl. What's up? You forgot half the stuff I asked you to get again. Oh, um, ah. Oh. Now I'm going to have to drive into Babblebrook and get it. Ah, it's all right. I'll get it. Can I trust you not to forget anything? Me? Forget? I've got a memory like a, like a, like a, like a whatchamacallit. Elephant? Yeah, one of them. I'll write you a list. That'll do it. A list, yeah. You can't go wrong with a list. Right. We need fresh bread. Oh, and a garden rake for Laura Turvey. Bread. Rake. Free range eggs. Tractor oil for Stan. Eggs and cake and a garden rake. Bread, not cake. But bread doesn't rhyme. Oh, yeah. And don't forget, a set of little thimbles for Elsie. Hello, a customer. Uh, I'll leave you to it. Stop! Walter! Oh, hello, Mr. Jones. Nah, just a minute. Listen, can you get away for a spot of fishing this afternoon? Oh. I have to dash into Babblebrook to pick up some stuff for Nicola, but it won't take long. Well, chop chop. I'll meet you when you get back, but keep it quiet, eh? Don't want anyone taking our spot. <laughs> no worries. I'll get off now. Catch you later. There you go. Now, Dad won't forget anything. You forgot the list. Oh, Dad. Good morning, Stan. Wasn't expecting to see you this morning. I need your help, Stumpy. That's why I'm here. Oh, fire away. What can I do for you? Well, it's not for me, actually. It's the Turvies. I'm afraid moles have made themselves at home in their garden. They've made a terrible mess and poor Amy's beside herself. You know how she loves her garden. <laughs> Moles, eh? <laughs> exactly. The thing is, I've promised to try and help. Stumpy? Oh, oh, I always pace when I'm thinking. I've got it. I remember now, my old dad's way of getting rid of moles was to blow smoke down one end of their tunnel, and then when they'd pop up for a breath of fresh air, he'd catch them. Don't worry, little red tractor. We can't do that, Stumpy. Amy doesn't want to hurt the little moles. She just wants them to move on. Oh, oh, I see. Hmm. Well, You're I... not going to pace again, are you? Whoa. What was that? Are you all right, little red tractor? Oh, take no notice. She does that occasionally. I think the sails need a bit of oil. That jolt went right through me. The ground shook. <laughs> That would certainly scare the moles away. <laughs> would it that? Except we're not going to be able to carry this old windmill over to Rose Cottage. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that does give me an idea. That's what we need to make the moles move. A vibration. Hmm. That could work. Now, let me think. I reckon it's all right, Stumpy. Don't start pacing. We've taken up enough of your time. We'll think of something. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. Oops, I forgot the list. Still, I'm sure I remembered everything. <laughs> now, let me see. Uh, fresh bread, check. Two dozen eggs. Free range, check. Garden rake for Mrs. Turvey, check. Tractor oil for Stan, check again. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my memory. Now, what's next? Oh, yeah. And a set of thimbles for Elsie. Thimbles? Thimbles? Oh, no. I thought she said windmills. I've got it wrong again. Nicola's not going to be happy. Oh, hi, Dad. You're back. Did you get everything? Everything? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course I did. Well done. I was worried because you forgot the list. Who needs a list? <laughs> I'll help you put everything away. No! Uh, <laughs> I mean, no. I can manage. You take it easy. OK. Thanks, Dad. What am I going to do with a box of windmills? <sighs> I'm just going to have to hide them. 
Aha, off fishing then. Shh, not so loud. We don't want anyone to take our spot. We? Yes, I'm going with Walter. Promises to be a successful day. Well, before you go, I wonder if you can help me. Anything stand, anything so long as it's quick. The turvies are having a problem with moles. Rather them than us, Stan. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not very neighbourly. Listen, I have an idea. We might be able to make the moles move if we can get the ground to vibrate. Oh, I see. You want me to drive Big Blue all over their garden. <laughs> no, definitely not. Any other ideas? I would love to help Stan. Really, I would. But, well, I have to go fishing. Oh, um... OK. Well, maybe Walter will have an idea about how to help me with these moles. Dad? Oh, no! If Nicola sees the windmill, she'll know I got the order wrong. Dad? Where has he got to now? Hi, Nicola. Is Walter around? He was here, Stan. But he seems to have, um... He's behind the tiles. Dad? What were you doing behind there? I was, uh, oh, you know, just, um, counting tyres. What are you doing with those windmills? What windmills? <laughs> windmills. That's it. That's just what we need. Huh? Eh? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, here you go, Stan. One box of windmills. Your windmills? Yes, they're for a little project that I'm working on. Project? Yeah. Yeah, the project. <laughs> Here they are, Stan, as you ordered. Thanks. And has my oil arrived? I think Stumpy may need it to oil his windmill sails. Yeah, I have that as well. Yeah, that will be the windmills and the oil. Two things I remembered. <laughs> Walter, are we going fishing or not? Fishing? But I thought you were... Oh, did I forget to mention the fishing? I think there are even more mole hills now. Here's Stan and the toy tractor. Maybe he's found a way to make the moles go away. Windmills? Why have you got so many? I have a plan. What we need to do is plant the windmills all over the garden. Why? Trust me, I think this may solve your problem with the moles. And it will make the garden look really cool. Come on, Amy. I've done one, Stan. Hey, Stan, I think these look much better than boring old flowers. They look great. But how will they get rid of the moles? As the wind blows them around, they'll vibrate through the soil. This will irritate the moles and in no time, they'll move off completely unharmed to somewhere more peaceful. You're a genius. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say that. Stumpy and Little Red Tractor helped. Well, I think you both saved the day. <laughs> <laughs>